Windows log, update 52, or 53, uh, one or the other or both. Anyway, I currently have the TARDIS set for the planet Vortis, where I've decided to finally visit my old friends in Monoptera. It's been a very long time since I've last seen them, and I promised I would return, so figured it's about time I got around to doing that. Alright, I think everything's ready to go, so we should be able to rematerialize right about now. Alright, there we go. Alright then, come on, Porthos. And, uh, Pink Fluffy Dalek, you better stay here and hold down the fort, okay? All right, Fortis. It has been a while. <laughs> ah, the planet Vortis. Cold, thin atmosphere, foggy in the winter, but the only known source of blue quartz, a mostly useless material, although it does have some interesting chronotonic properties that nobody's figured out. Anyway, let's uh, try to find the Monoptera. Let's see, not quite sure where we've landed. Ah, there's some Zarbi. Hey, Zarbi! I'm trying to find the Monopter Village. Can you guys help me out? Yeah, alright, look, so... Ow! Hey! What did I ever do to you? Come on, man. Leave me alone. Maybe the larvae guns would be more easy. Hey, man! Ow! I do not remember Vortis being so unfriendly. Ah! Gosh, what got into them? Okay, I'll just find them in Optral on my own. I don't need their help. Let's see, let's head in the opposite direction. With those guys. Ah, there we go. That looks like a Minoptra village to me. And there are some Minoptra. Hello, guys. How have you guys been? Hello, Minoptera. So, how are you guys all doing? Ah, Tylus, hello. Welcome. Thank you. Look, the Zarbi were attacking me. I don't know what the heck's got into them, but something's got them all spooked. What the heck is going on here? Trouble is brewing. What do you mean? Some strange influence has come out of the old crater. It has driven the Zarbi mad. Tylus? Long, long ago, a strange object fell from the sky. Recently, strange things have been happening around the crater it made. There have been sounds coming from deep underground to the large holes opened up near the crater. What do you mean, Tylus? Whatever's going on, I'll help you guys out. S this, some strange shapes have been seen near it. No one dares to come near anymore. Recently, something has arisen from it. Oh, Tylus, whatever's going on, I promise you, I'll figure it out for you guys, okay? Don't worry about it. What is what? I don't hear anything. Porthos? There are several mechanoid life forms approaching from the south. What do you mean? Something's coming? What? Oh my gosh! No! It's the Kalon! Stay away from the Minotra! Oh my gosh! Explosions! Ah! We gotta lead him away from the Nocturne Village. Come on, Porthos. Alright, you guys. This planet is protected. The Minotra are under my protection. You leave them alone. Ah! Very long range.
Hopefully, they're gone now. Oh my gosh. Tylus, look. I promise you guys, whatever those things were, I'll find out. And I will stop them, alright? Is everybody okay? Good. Tylus, you get your people inside and stay there. I'm going to send the pink fluffy dog over here to help protect you in case those things come back. But I'm going to head to that crater and figure out just what the heck's going on, alright? I promise you that. Okay, so I'm going to head over to it. Get your people inside. Porthos, contact the TARDIS and the pink fluffy dog and send it out here to the Monopter Village immediately, okay? Contacting TARDIS. Transmission sent. We're going after that crater, figuring out what the heck these things are. Sonic's not much help here, but... I've got to be getting close. I'm detecting faint energy surges. It seems to be coming from under the surface. Oh my gosh. It's a beacon. That looks like a good place to start looking. Yes, there is something over there. What do you make of it, Porthos? This formation is not the result of a natural phenomenon. Yes, I agree. This isn't just some meteoroid that crashed here. This is the remains of a spaceship. Take a look at this. Steel construction. Very old. It's been here for a while. Completely obliterated. Not much left. I don't know what to make of it. But this, this is interesting. What have we got here? It's a hole. A very, very deep hole. We got something down there. Hmm. Somebody must have dug this out, and it must have taken a long time to do it. Got some tunnels running off. I wonder if it's a mine shaft? Vortis is very rich in resources. It has a lot of ores. I wonder if somebody was mining for them. Might have something to do with the spaceship, but this has been here for so long. Well, the only way we're going to find out is by going down there. I knew these elites were going to come in handy sooner or later. Well, here we go. One, two, three. There we go, not a bad way to make That sounds like Sanger. Ah! Stay away from me. Oh my gosh, they're not like Cybermen, but they're all rusted. Are there any more? I think that's it. Oh man, these are... I think I know what's going on now. That must have been a cyber ship that crashed here. A long, long time ago. And the Cybermen, after their ship crashed, must have been looking for resources, so they dug a, a mine and were looking for resources to mine to repair their ship? No. It was too obliterated. And obviously, since the only life forms in the on Vortis are just insect-like creatures, they couldn't convert any of them. So they stayed down here in their tunnels. They must have been here for so long that they started getting rusty. Must have been here a very long time. So they began mining for Vortis' resources, but it doesn't look like they were interested in the diamonds or the gold or anything. What were they mining for then? They dug such big shafts and tunnels. Must have been at it for a long time. What were they looking for? They must have eventually got enough resources to start attacking the Monoptera. Oh man, gotta figure this out. Don't know where to go. Ah! More cyber. Cybermen. I can hardly 
Oh my gosh, it's a cybermat. Stay away from me. Ah, is that it? There's something going on here. Cybermen must have a base somewhere in this area. The blue quartz. What do they want to do with blue quartz? You know what? Maybe if I put on my sonic shades, it'd be easier to see. There we go. Now I can see better. Oh my gosh. What have we got here? Redstone? Blue quartz? Ah. I think I know what this is. This is some kind of a portal generator. Why? Oh, I get it now. Since the Cyberman ship was completely destroyed, they must have... Yes, they must have tried to build a portal to get back to their cyber base. Yes, that's it. And obviously the thing I should do is destroy it so that they can't get back there, but... Curiosity compels me to find out exactly where this cyber base is. Let's see, they were close to completing it. I connect the redstone circuits. That should be all it needs to generate the portal. Well, here goes nothing. Can't hurt too much to activate it. There we go. Now let's see what we got. Wait a minute. It's not a portal to a cyber base. That looks like... It can't be. Is that... Gallifrey? But what would the Cybermen want with... Ugh! This doesn't make any sense. First... Rassilon, then the Daleks with the with the Time Lord painting, and now now the Cybermen. What? Why does everybody want to go to Gallifrey? What is it with the Time Lords? I don't get it. Whatever their plan is, I can't let it happen. I've got to shut this down and stop the Cybermen. Porthos, any ideas? Reversing the polarity of the Red Stone would collapse the portal and generate an electromagnetic pulse that would annihilate any inorganic life forms. Yes, that might work. It would destroy the portal and the Cybermen all in one go. And the Monoptera and Zarbi and everyone would be safe because they're organic. So I'll just use the Sonic to reverse the polarity of the... But Porthos, that would affect you too. Sorry, I don't understand. Oh yes you do. You can't fool me with that catchphrase anymore. There's absolutely no way you could survive the MP at this range. And neither would I. The concentration of energy from the collapse of the portal would be lethal to anybody who's standing within a close distance to it. But what other choice do I have? There's no other way to shut it down. Well, I guess this is the end, Porthos, for us both. Although I might regenerate. Goodbye, old friend. Here we go. Work. The portal's closed. I should destroy the Cybermen. Porthos? Porthos? He's gone. I better get out of here. Uh, okay. Poor Porthos. Alright then. I want to get a look at my new face. What do I look like? Uh, wait a minute. What? No. No, it can't be. There's no way. I'm... I'm Sam? Was I Sam all alone? But, but that would mean... That would mean... Wait a minute. What is that? 
Is that... It can't be. Hello, old girl. Hello. It's been a while. Alright then. I think it's time we travel back. Back to update number one. guys enjoyed that update video sorry that it took way way too long to come out with but i had some stuff that was going on uh, with covid and then i lost internet connection and it's a really long story so i finally came out with it and i decided to combine updates 53 and 54 together so that i didn't have to uh, make as many videos so that i could cover both those updates all at once so it wouldn't take as long and I've already begun looking at update 55. I've got some stuff going for that, so hopefully it won't take as long with that one. And once again, I apologize for being way, way too late and without having any content on my channel or anything like that. So as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment below letting us know what you liked about updates 53 and 54, what your favorite features were, etc. And I will see you guys all in the next video. So thank you once again for watching, guys, and as always, have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video, so goodbye for now, everyone.